Hello everyone, welcome back to Spring with Essentials by Dev Dojo. So in this video we are going to learn how to do the setup properly uh, using the Spring Initializer. So we have a couple of ways of doing this. The first one is going directly to the website start.spring.io and you can just select what you want. For example, we would like to use Java. We would like to use the latest uh, stable version. Here you can give the package. So we can use the same values that we have here. So if we go to the POM, we have here, artifact ID, give the name, let's uh, keep everything the way it is and uh, I'm going to select Java 11. So here we have some dependencies. So if we take a look at the pom.xml, we have here three dependencies that we have been using. Starter Web, Spring Boot Dev uh, Tools and Lombok. And we can search here for the dependencies. So we have Spring Web. We could use also the Lombok and the dev tools and we can generate the project it will create a zip for us that we can just save it so the zip file i am going to my downloads it came to a different folder so we just open and now if i go to intellij file open in downloads I can open this project and you will see that we have basically the same structure so let me take a while until IntelliJ set up everything here we go so if we go to the pond.xml you can see that we have these properties something that we didn't have before and we have the same starter web Spring Dev uh, Tools, Spring Boot Dev Tools, Lombok, and also we have this uh, test. So we didn't select, but as a software developer, test should be part of your software. And if we go here to SRC main Java, we have here academy.devdojo, Spring Boot to Essentials. This is a bit different from what we have here, but that's okay. And then we have the name of the class. So as you can see, the class is at the root level of the package the same way as we have here. Another two things uh, generated by the initializer is uh, this configuration inside of resources. So we have this application.properties that in our case, we have here um, an empty folder. So all the project configurations will go here. We are going to use this, uh, but not the properties, the YAML version. And um, the tests. So we have one class here that uh, was generated by Spring and this class it will just test if the Spring is uh, can be started without any major problems so you can run this test right here you can use the the shortcut if I don't use the shortcut probably my plugin right here will start complaining no this key promoter didn't complain so what this test is going to do is just uh, test the context of your application and as you can see the test is passing. So this is the way one. The second way of doing this, we can close here, is uh, generating a new project from IntelliJ. This is the ultimate version. We have the same Spring Initializer, default from start.spring.io. You click on next and you can give the same name, academy.devdojo and then spring root 2 and artifact ID you can use the same spring root 2 dash essentials and then maven project language java jar 11 and essentials by dev dojo and we can fix the name of the, the package so now we will have something like this. Okay, you just click over next and then we can pick up the same things that we did in the website. Spring uh, Boot Dev Tools and then Lombok and also Web. Click 
on next and uh, let me delete the one from here finish so the project uh, was generated there you go spring boot to essentials exactly the same thing as we have so before we move on let's do this i'm going to use this project because of the configuration uh, another thing that we have here is this uh, mvnw this is a maven wrapper so spring wrappers its own version of maven this is to avoid any problems when you're trying to run this as a, a jar file a runnable jar so this maven uh, wrapper is right here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this controller, domain, and util, and I'm going to add here. And it didn't work that well. So we just create new packages here, new packages, controller, and another package. First move enemy controller to inside controller and then create a new package and this package will be called a domain and you move enemy to domain okay select uh, enable auto import and then we can try and see if everything is working properly just go over the, the classes see if you don't have any wrong package name or you do it properly and you just run the tests. Okay, so the test is running. If you don't believe it, just run the class. And you can see that's running on port 8080. You just go back here localhost 8080 slash anime slash list and there you go we have the project working so i'm going to use this project from now on if you want you can look the entire project that we were doing in the first and the second video so this is everything that i had to tell you and um, let's uh, finish for now and let's continue in the next video so i see you there bye